What's going on everybody? Today I wanted to go over and showcase, at least show you guys my three button and six button control heads from Federal Signal that uh, are used on any of the Federal Signal devices that are serial communication enabled. Um, so any of the, the Legend bars, the Argent S2 bars, the Radian S2 bars, or any of the Valor light bars. Um, Valor, Valor, whoever wants to say what, completely up to you guys, who cares? Anyways, that's not the point. What I wanted to showcase to you guys today is at least show you guys how to program and set up the three button controller. I'll showcase the six button in my next video. So I'm just going to move these up out the way so we don't get too confused. But this is the main beauty we wanted to showcase today. So fairly simple, easy product, not much to it. You got your three main buttons to signify different programs or different modes that you want to use. In my case, I have this button to signify for mode one and two, takedown and alley lights, and my dim function. That's just how I have mine labeled and programmed at the moment. But you have different options that you can use as well on yours, and I'll showcase how to do that. So your main hookup is your Cat5 from your serial controller, and then your two pins for power. Pretty much only really need one, but um, mine came set up with two pins and I'll show you that here once I hook it up. So this is the actual three button controller and here is the different programs or different keypad option functions that you can select. So there's about nine different, or I should say about, uh, excuse me, there is nine different functions that you can choose from. So you have keypad function one, which will do light bar on in mode two, your work lights or takedowns, and then low power. Keypad number two, yeah, you can read all this, so bear with me on that. Then you have keypads 1A, 2A, 3A, and then 1B, 2B, and 3B. I'll put the description, put the link in the description to Federal Signal's website, so if anybody does have one of these three-button controllers, um, it'll walk you through exactly how to program it, set it up. I'm going to showcase to you guys too as well. So for those of you who learn by watching, hopefully this video will help you. Uh, if a lot of you learn by reading yourself and go, well, I don't know what he's talking about, then you'll have the link in the description below that you can go off all that information there. All right, so that's that info. Now, let me reach behind here and grab my hookups. So I've got it preset up to uh, a light bar behind me. Um, we won't showcase what it is yet, but I'll tell you that here in the end. So you got your Cat5 connector, and then you have your pin adapter for power. So these just clip in, just like so. Now, before I power this thing on, I do want to showcase to you, when you first power it on, it's going to indicate what keypad function it's on, whether it's on keypad number one, two, three, 1A, 2A, 3A, or 1B, 2B, 3B. Each one of these buttons, so you got keypad one, this button will light up. Keypad button two, keypad number two. Keypad number three, this whole button will light up. If these buttons do not light up, but these lights above do light up, this is to let you know keypad a is on so if this one lights up that means keypad 1a 2a 3a if they both light together if this button lights up and this lights up it's keypad 1b if this one lights up you know 2b 3b nice and easy so just the button is just the number just these top lights letter A. If both light up, then it's keypad 1, 2, or 3, B. Okay? And it happens real fast. So once I plug this in, it's going to light up. Hint, it lights up this one. Pay attention. Watch what happens. See how it just briefly lights up and blinks once? It's lit on program 2, or keypad number 2, which according to Federal Signal means when I press this button, mode 1 activates. When I press this button again, mode 2, work, left, and right alley lights, and then low power. It's just kind of how I wanted this one to be set up for 
um, cause I don't have anything programmed and set up for auxiliary. So I don't care about that. Um, so when I hit button number one, it activates mode two. If I hit the button again, it lights up the top. Now I've got mode two activated. So before it was mode one, now it's mode two. And you can see my light red and blue is going off in the background. I can also do my center button, which will activate my takedowns, which you can see on my left and right side of me. And then if I activate them again, it's going to activate my left alley, right alley, and then turns everything off. This doesn't do anything except for dims. So I can reactivate everything. Now it's not as bright. Turn off my dim. Everything's a lot brighter. Okay, now. All right. Now, let's show you in the fun part of how to actually reprogram this. So, let's say you're like, ah, oh, hey, RJ Racing, I, I don't want, I don't want, pro, I don't want keypad number two. I want, you know, 3B. Let's show you how to do that. So, when you want to change the programming as far as tell the controller, hey, I want you on keypad 3B, which will light up this button as well as the top light. You hold all three buttons down at the same time. It'll beep like that, and then all you have to do, now that audible countdown goes for 15 total seconds. So you just push whichever button you want. Now I'm on keypad three, keypad three A, keypad three B. Now, after 15 seconds, the module will time itself out and program itself to that way. Or if you're impatient and you don't wanna wait the 15 seconds, unplug power, whether it be cat5 or your power i just do cat5 because it's easier plug it back in and see how it lights up both button and top light so that tells me now we are on 3b which is mode one and two auxiliary one auxiliary two so if i hit that button well right now on the light bar because again i don't have any auxiliaries hooked up it's only going to activate those ones but obviously you can see mode one and two going away so Press it again, beeps three times. Now I just tell it, now I wanna go back to keypad two. I could wait the 15 seconds, but let's not bore you. Now I'm back on keypad two. My dim function works, mode two works, and then my takedowns left, right alley. Now the whole bar is off. Now, when you wanna change patterns, Let's say you don't like what mode two or mode three or mode one activates. All you do is you hold these two buttons on the outside, do the same thing with the whole system powered on. Now it's only gonna light up whatever mode is available. So this one is lighting up mode one. So I can actually go through here. Now this one you can tell does a silent 15 second countdown. So you just push that button and it'll actually go through and tell the light bar, let's go to the next pattern based off of what's programmed from the federal signal. So now I can go through, and I don't even remember what pattern I was on, but do the same thing as what I showed you in some of the other videos I had as far as like the serial interface module. Just press it, give it a few seconds, let it run the program, and then press it again. Again, you can let it go and wait the 15 seconds. This time it's a silent countdown, or you can just do what I always do and just unplug it, plug it in. It has power. Now it's got itself programmed to whatever pattern that you had set. All right. That was a nice, quick, easy video. So if you guys have any other questions, feel free to let me know. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. Let me know. Uh, other than that, Let's have a party and I will get started on the six button controllers because I know you guys like those and in my opinion they're way better because you get more options on them. So I'll get started on that, get this one going and uh, we'll see you around the next one. Y'all take care.